Hi, I'm Dr. T, and I'm a pediatrician. On Ask Dr. T, I answer health questions from teens. Questions ranging from safe sex, to self-love, to questions about body parts. Let's get this episode started. All right, <laughs> these questions are all about pre-cum, or pre-ejaculate, and a little bit about killing sperm too. Okay, so question number one. Sometimes I'll not be doing anything sexual and I go to use the bathroom and my penis has wet stuff around it. It kind of looks like semen. Is it pre-cum? This is an interesting question. Um, and should I take a shower to wash off the wet stuff? I always get nervous and think if I'm near a girl and give her a hug, I might get her pregnant. Okay, this is a multi-part question. Let's talk a little bit about what semen and pre-cum are first, and then we'll talk about pregnancy risk. Um, so semen itself is a collection of fluids that come from multiple parts of the reproductive tract down there. And then the whole point is that that fluid supports and nourishes the sperm. So sperm are just a small part of semen fluid. Um, and then pre-cum is actually kind of a, like a lubricant that coats the pee hole or the urethra um, before ejaculation. So think about going down a water slide and think about first going down with no water be kind of sticky and your skin would stick to the edge and it would be a very slow progression down the water slide versus if the water slides wet you slide on through pretty darn quickly and effectively and that's kind of the same idea with pre-cum or pre-ejaculate is that it sort of wets the pee hole and allows that ejaculation to go out very effectively now, the issue with pre-cum is that sometimes it does contain sperm and sometimes it doesn't. Pre-cum itself, the, the fluid, does not have sperm in it, but the issue arises when there is still some sperm in the urethra or the pee hole for whatever reason. If there was masturbation or a wet dream or ejaculation beforehand, um, there can still be some sperm that survive in the urethra. So, that is when there is a small potential for sperm to be in the pre-ejaculate. So pre-ejaculate might have a few sperm, semen, a lot of sperm, okay? Now, if you were a little aroused or looking at things that got you excited, whether or not they were necessarily sexual, the penis in response may have put out a little pre-cum, and that's okay. For your situation, I would recommend just peeing, wipe it off, and go about your day. You are not going to get anyone pregnant from sharing a towel, um, peeing on the toilet seat, or getting any on the toilet seat, or hugging, especially through clothing. The real way pregnancy happens is if semen and sperm is put into a vagina. And that's really gonna be the only situation. So, I wouldn't worry about it for you, if you are especially concerned, you can get a wet washcloth, wipe it off, um, wash your hands, you should be fine. But don't worry about it, it's totally normal. Question number two. Can you get pregnant if you have sex without a condom, but he doesn't ejaculate inside the vagina? AKA, can you get pregnant from pre-cum? So yes. And that was a little bit of what I was just talking about is that even though pre-cum itself, the purpose is really just to kind of wet the whistle and get things nice and slick so that the semen can shoot out more effectively, um, it is possible that pre-ejaculate does have some sperm in it. So in that situation, yes, it is possible to get pregnant from pre-cum. It's not as potent as semen, but it's certainly still possible. I love this question. Um, so I have a series on here where I had a young couple and someone has given me another young couple. <laughs> um, Bob had on boxers and Lily had on her underwear and was grinding on Bob's lap. I 
don't think Bob ejaculated, but I think there was some pre-ejaculate. Is there any way that Lily can get pregnant? So, no. If you guys are wearing clothes, if there are clothing barriers between the two of you, and honestly, if it's just pre-cum, there's not a whole lot of sperm there anyway, hypothetically, so no, you're not going to get pregnant, Lily. Um, okay, question number four. A couple of weeks ago, I was doing some stuff with my boyfriend. I had my hand in his pants, but he didn't ejaculate. I'm just slightly scared that he may have had pre-cum on his penis. Afterward, I did wash my hand, but I'm now late for my period, and I'm stressed out. Is there any possibility I could be pregnant? So, we're talking about pre-cum and the chance that there might be sperm in it. Things that kill sperm are going to be washing hands, so even just water. Water itself causes sperm to suck in too much water and explode. So water kills sperm. Soap and alcohol rub kill sperm. Um, even if the sperm dries out, it's dead. So anytime you leave pre-cum or cum on a towel or clothing, once it started to started to dry out, the sperm's dead. So don't worry about it. And then question number five. Hey, I gave my boyfriend a blowjob, but there was no ejaculation. Pretty sure there was pre-ejaculate, though. Then we shared a kiss, and then he went down on me. So I wonder if it's possible that I could get pregnant, and is it possible that sperm can pass from my mouth to his and then to my vagina? No. So sperm is going to suck up that extra moisture and explode. So I wouldn't worry about that at all. All right, great questions, guys. <laughs> Keep them coming. And remember, if you have a question for Ask Dr. T, you can either respond in this video or submit through my website, askdrt.net.